Hey, kindergartners, Mr. Bell here. You ready to do some art? All right, let's go. Your next project's going to be about your school. Jackson Elementary School, also known as J E S. But do you know what animal is our school's mascot? I'll give you a second to think about it. What animal is our school's mascot? If you said panda, then you are correct. Take a look at this coaster. You see that bamboo behind the panda? That's what pandas like to eat. And there's the name of our school. All right. Let's take a look at this picture. Ah, it's a real nice picture of a panda. Wait a minute. We have a friend coming to visit. Well, look at here. Notice that the panda's ears are black. This oval type shape, this patch around the eye, is also black. The nose, little mouth. From this part of the shoulder all the way around here is black. And the legs. This part of the panda is white. And the face. All right. Well, let's go ahead and get started on the project. If you don't have a sheet of paper, go ahead and get one. Once you do have your paper, Turn it tall ways like this, and down in this bottom part here, you want to draw a big circle. Nice big circle. If you have something that you can trace to make your circle, that'll be okay. I'm going to use this bucket. I'm going to flip it upside down. Let's make the head nice and big. I'm going to get it in the center and try to get it even on the sides. Leave some space at the bottom. You don't want to touch the bottom with your circle. You can hold down the circular thing that you're tracing. And trace around it until you have a complete circle. There we go. All right. So there's your first shape, and your next shape is going to be like this, one on one side and one on the other. What's that shape called? Do you remember? If you said semicircle or half circle, you're correct. Next, we are going to draw a line in the middle right in the very middle like this. All right. Then I like to put a little dot right there. It's centered. Okay. Then from that dot you can draw a straight line to the end of that line. And then one on this side. Now you have an upside down, what's that shape called? That's right, it's a triangle. Look, if I flip it around this way, it's a triangle. Next, I'm going to put your pencil at the bottom of that triangle. It's going to go down and then curve. Looks like a smiley face on the left hand side, doesn't it? Let me go back to the bottom of that triangle. And let's put one on this side. And that is this part right here. 
You just made the nose, drew a line, and you have the curves on the side. Okay, next we're going to do the eyes. The eyes are kind of like a, um, they're kind of like a oval, sort of, not exactly, that are turned kind of sideways, sort of at a slanted at an angle like that. So let's go ahead and make one here. They're nice and big. There's one. And we're going to try to make this one the same as this. The best that we can. They won't be perfect. That's close enough. So, so far, you have used a circle shape for the head. Sort of an upside down triangle shape for the nose. Some more curvy lines underneath for the mouth. An oval type shape for the eyes. Semicircle shape. For the ears, and now we're going to put the center of the eye in there. We're going to make a circle again, a smaller one, and one on this side. Try to make them the same size if you can, the best that you can. And we'll put a little dot in the center. Okay, there we go. Now we're going to come over here to this side of the head and put a little curvy line that goes to the bottom. That's for one shoulder. And then one over here for the other shoulder. Alright. And we'll come up here above the panda's head and draw a circle. And we'll put some lines. And we're going to make a sun. Okay, and put some curved lines over here. We'll make some freeform shapes. What do these look like? They're always up in the sky. What are those? That's right, clouds. I'm going to have them going off the side of the paper. I think it looks cool like that. You can put some in the middle too, where you see the whole cloud. Part of one there. All right. Once you have this part done, now you want to use either a black crayon or a marker. Either one's fine. I'm going to use a marker, but if your markers all run out of ink, you can certainly use a crayon to do the same thing. All right. I'm going to start right here with those little dots. And the circle part. Take your time on this. Don't go too fast. You might see me go a little fast, but I'm trying to finish this in the amount of time I have to make the video. So if you need to pause this video to catch up or to finish any part of it, then go ahead and press pause. Finish what you need to finish. And then you can press play again whenever you're ready. Semicircles for the ears. You really want to take your time tracing the head. That's a big circle. I'm going to take my time on that. I don't want to go off the lines too much. All right. And the shoulders. Okay. Now, I don't want to run out of ink on my marker, so I'm going to use a crayon to color in the ears. Again, don't color too fast. You want to try to stay inside those black lines, okay? You color this ear. Turn your paper sideways if you need to. You get it all colored in. Your nose. This part of the eye, leave it white inside there where that black dot is. Your 
this all colored in. There we go. This eye. Use small strokes. See the short strokes? When you're doing small little areas, you want to use short strokes. Don't want to make long strokes. You'll end up going outside of the line. I can go a little bigger here. These are some long strokes. But now I need to go back to short strokes again. So I don't want to go past the shoulders. There we go. Back to here. Our school mascot is a panda. We are the Jackson Elementary School Pandas. Each school has its own mascot. There we go. I went outside the line there a little bit. Just gonna get an eraser and try to get some of that off. That's okay. Nobody's perfect. Now I'm going to use a yellow marker to color in my sun. You can use a crayon too. I'm going to trace, 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 trace. I can color this, this all in with the marker, or I can use a yellow crayon. There we go. And the last part will be to color in the sky. So find a, a blue that you would like to use, light blue, dark blue, any kind of blue, and start coloring. And remember to use short strokes. For small areas, be real careful around your sun. Try not to color the blue on top of the yellow. If you do, it will turn green on you. Because blue plus yellow equals green. Take your time, color very easily. I like to go around the sun first. On each of the sun's rays. A little straight lines we call those sun rays. Short strokes. Careful around your clouds too. Notice how carefully I'm coloring around the clouds and around the sun. Some people like to trace around them first like this and then color. That's a good idea also. Careful when you get to the panda's head. You're just going to keep on coloring all the way down to here. All the way down to the corner. All this is going to be blue. Anywhere where it's white, you'll color blue, except in the clouds. You can leave those white. And keep on coloring nice and carefully around everything. Go. Let me show you one that's finished already so you see what it looks like when it's done. I'm running out of time. There we go. Look at that. The blue is all the way around the clouds, around the sun, around the panda. The panda's face is still white. The inside of the eyes are white. The clouds are white. All right. There you go. Jackson Elementary School pandas. Have fun. Can't wait to see your pictures when you're finished. Bye-bye. <laughs>